Northwestern University for tonight's Silent Night Day featuring from the ABA, the South Coast Fire. And the home team from Lakeland, Florida, USA, your Southeastern University.
Welcome to tonight's men's basketball game here at the Furnace as the Southeastern University Fire take on the South Coast Fire of the ABA. They come in with a 1-2 and two record this season under head coach Willie Pons, a star-studded roster that they have, multiple Division I players, all-conference players, and also a former NBA player, some guys that are just fresh off of rosters. Should be an interesting matchup as they take on the 2-1 and one Southeastern University Fire here on Silent Night. You will not hear the crowd until Southeastern reaches their 10th point of the contest. The fire wearing of Southeastern wearing white. The fire of South Coast wearing red. Southeastern left to right. And South Coast from right to left. Starting five for Southeastern has Jordan McLeod along with Larry Taylor, Dana Thomas, Caleb Konezny, and Dre Winston. Quick transition and a walk called on the early possession against Sherrod Harris, the guard out of Rochester, New York. Just underway in the first half, Southeastern with the basketball from left to right, with Dre Winston setting up the offense against the man-to-man -man look by the South Coast Fire. Quick look from the right wing for Dre, passes on the shot and goes top of the key to Larry Taylor. Taylor trying to work off a screen, going baseline, cut off nicely by the defense, kicks back out. Three ball on the way by Jordan McLeod, falls short. Defensive rebound pulled down by Alex Smith of South Coast. Ball at the top of the key now for Eric Ruff in the Hampton University product. He's matched up one-on-one -on -one against Andre Winston. 32 seconds gone in the first half, and we're scoreless. Quick pass to the near side. Nice swing by Cortell Paulding. Looks to the near corner for Sherrod Harris. Harris trying to cut. Nice dish out to the far corner. Three ball. Ruffin, no. Rebound tracked down by Caleb Konezny. Thanks to the box out by Dana Thomas. Dana now hands off Larry Taylor. Nice baseline drive and a layup. Good by Andre Winston. 2 to nothing in favor of Southeastern. They have the early advantage over the ABA South Coast Fire. Guarantee you'll see a man-to-man -man defense by the South Coast Fire. Believe it's a rule you have to run a man-to-man -man in the ABA. 18-50 first half. Working the right side is Eric Ruffin. Looks to the far corner for Sherrod Harris. Pull up one-handed runner. No good. Good defense that time by Larry Taylor as the ball rolls out of bounds to the South Coast Fire. 2-0 Southeastern, 18-43 remaining in the first half. Inbounding the basketball is Anthony Wynn out of VCU. Looking to the near wing, it's Sherrod Harris. Out to the far corner is Eric Ruffin. And the ball booted eight rows into the grandstands. And a inbound coming up for the South Coast Fire. The shot clock was down to eight. They should get 15 thanks to the kick ball. Willie Pond's team has to love this shot clock. Instead of the 24-second shot clock, they get 35. Shot clock is at 15 after the ball was kicked out of bounds. Southeastern leading 2-0. Basketball comes into Eric Ruffin looking near corner. Sherrod Harris's three is off the mark. Jordan McLeod pulls down the rebound for Southeastern. Andre Winston slowing it down, working transition. Nice bounce pass and a layup good by Dana Thomas. 4-0 Southeastern. Pass out to the far wing for Cortell Paulding from Brooklyn, New York. Hands off in the far side for Sherrod Harris. Harris floats it back to the near side for Ruffin on the left wing. He's picked up by Jordan McLeod, who D's up on him in the fire man-to-man -man matchup. 20 on the shot clock, 18.02 on the game clock. Southeastern protecting a two-possession lead. Ball at the top of the key for Sherrod Harris. Looking to the right elbow as Anthony Wynn drives to the basket. Up and under, layup is good and one. 4-2 in favor of Southeastern. And a free throw coming up for Alex Smith of the South Coast Fire. 17.50 remaining in the first half. Correction, it's Anthony Wynn, the 6'7 forward out of Richmond, Virginia, who prepped at Virginia Commonwealth. Right-handed shot is up, and the three-point play is successful, cutting the deficit to one with 17.50 remaining in the first half. Southeastern University from left to right with Larry Taylor running the offense. The Bob Jones University transfer looks to Dana Thomas, now to Caleb Konezny, who stands 25 feet from the rim. Has good range, hit five threes, and Southeastern's lost in the exhibition to Valdosta State. Andre Winston able to cut through the lane and get the layup to give Southeastern a 6-3 advantage. Fire put all-court pressure on, and the outlet's found on the right side for Eric Ruffin. Looking far corner, pull up jumper by Paulding, good from 18 feet out. Six to five in favor of Southeastern. The fire with the basketball from left to right. 
Driving is Dre Winston. Looking for an outlet. Finds McLeod at the free throw line. Jordan around one. Trying to go past a second defender. Was fouled no call. Dana Thomas comes up with the offensive rebound and was fouled on the play by Eric Ruffin. Ruffin guilty of his first foul. The first against the team. Southeastern with a fresh 35 to shoot. Ball out of bounds with 17.02 to play in the first half. Thomas immediately gets the ball into Caleb Kinesny. Now out to Larry Taylor. Taylor working the right side into the lane. Running one-hander is short. Rebound tipped around and controlled by the South Coast Fire, Anthony Wynn. Working the ball out to the far side. Errant pass is hauled down by Sherrod Harris up against the fire bench. Not going to hear the crowd until the fire score four more points. In this silent night game, long three ball is off the mark by Harris, and the rebound pulled down by Jordan McLeod. Three on two break. Dre Winston to the rack. He lays it up and in. Southeastern with an 8 5 advantage. They're one basket away from this place going up for grabs. With the ball in the backcourt, Eric Ruffin working one on one against Dre Winston. A handoff now to Anthony Wynn. Win on the dribble. Dre tries to pick it loose and does. Kinesny trying to go back up to Andre. Does so. Great over the head pass. And it's hauled in by McLeod, who's finally able to finish it. There's the 10th point, and the crowd are ups. Now it's going to be tough for the South Coast Fire to communicate their offense. Looking out to the right side. And somewhere in there, there was a whistle and a foul against Caleb Kinesny. Southeastern leads it 10-5 with 15-49 remaining in the first half. Could be loud for a while. From one extreme to the other. 15-49 remaining in the half. Substitution for the South Coast Fire brings in Harold Griffin, number 33. He inbounds the basketball to Eric Ruffin. Ruffin looking, kicks it out to the far side and finds Griffin. Griffin looking to the free throw line, kicks near side for Sherrod Harris. Harris trying to drive baseline, goes back out to Griffin. His three balls off the front of the rim. Dana Thomas skies above everyone and pulls down the rebound. Dana way undersized to play center in this game at 6'3", but has outstanding leaping ability. Now Larry Taylor resets the offense. We'll see if he can get the crowd to quiet down a little bit to run it. Taylor looks out to the left side and finds Thomas, who now finds Jordan Talley, who's fresh into the game. Talley looks to the point to Dre Winston with 12 to shoot. Andre trying to work the right side of the lane and was fouled on his way to the rack. Actually, R.J. Barsh with a timeout first. Timeout Southeastern, 15.06 remaining in the first half, and Southeastern has a 10-5 lead over the South Coast Fire. Down to seven to shoot as the fire get the ball in. Andre Winston working the left side. He fires the go-ahead three. Got it. 14-55 remaining in the first half. And Southeastern has a 13-5 lead over the South Coast Fire. Ball at the point now for the South Coast Fire. Eric Ruffin. Ruffin working one-on-one -on -one against Winston as he kicks out to the far side for Harold Griffin. Griffin works it back to the midcourt line. Ball in the near corner. Harris for three. Left it short. Offensive rebound picked up by Alex Smith of the South Coast Fire. Smith playing keep away with two shorter defenders. Nice entry pass into the lane for Anthony Wynn, who converts the layup. 13-7 in favor of Southeastern. Here's Jordan Talley on the right wing. Senior gives way to Larry Taylor, who calls out the offense. Taylor matched up one-on-one -on -one against Sherrod Harris. Taylor slowing this game down a little bit. Comes off the screen by Dana Thomas. Weaves his way into the lane. Fade away 12-footer. No. Rebound pulled down by Alex Smith, the Bethune-Cookman product. Looking in transition to the near side for Sherrod Harris. Drives against Taylor, who checks him with the body and draws his first foul. 
13-54 remaining in the first half. Joe Little checks into the Southeastern lineup. The 6'5", 180-pound junior from Grand Ledge, Michigan, replaces Larry Taylor as Dre Winston rotates to the point. Timeout on the floor, 13-54 remaining in the first half, and Southeastern has a 13-7 lead over the South Coast Fire of the ABA. Southeastern taking the court at the furnace for the second time this year as they have a 2-1 and one record. They're ranked 23rd in the latest edition of the NAI Division II Coaches Top 25. Senior Andre Winston paced the off, has paced the offense, averaging 29.3 points per game, currently the second leading scorer in all of NAI Division II men's basketball. Meanwhile, the South Coast Fire of the ABA, the largest professional sports league in the United States with over 100 teams, they won their season opener over the Jacksonville Royals 121-100 to before dropping back-to-back -back games to the Miami Midnights. Great atmosphere here at the Furnace for the Silent Night game. No cheering until the Fire got their 10th point of the night, and when they did, madness erupted. Great start for Southeastern as they own a six-point lead over a roster of very tall and athletic former Division I, Division II, a couple of NAI players in there, including Solomon Jones, who just recently was with the Chicago Bulls. 13.54 remaining first half. Southeastern 13, the South Coast Fire 7. Harold Griffin inbounding for the Fire. Bring the ball back to Griffin on the near side, trying to lob it inside for Alex Smith, who knifes his way to the basket and lays it in. 13-9 in favor of Southeastern. They have the basketball working left to right in the white jerseys. Andre Winston draws the one-on-one -on -one matchup against Eric Ruffin. Out to the left side for Joe Little. Little back to the point for Jordan Talley, one of the three-point sharpshooters on this team. Talley back out to the point with 17 on the shot clock to Dre Winston. Andre battling one-on-one -on -one against Ruffin. Dre has a screen, elects not to use it, flips back to Talley with nine. Jordan into the lane with seven. Kicks it out to the left side to McLeod with five. McLeod steps back with two. Out to Talley, who fires the 30-footer. Missed it off the side of the rim. Rebound tracked down by Sherrod Harris of the South Coast Fire. Harris ahead to the right side for Griffin in transition. Griffin crosses over, kicks to the near side. Trying to drive now is Eric Ruffin. Back out to Griffin. His three ball connects. 12-55 remaining in the first half. Here come the South Coast Fire. It's a one-point game. Andre Winston walks the ball across midcourt where he matches up against Ruffin. Goes one-on-one. -on -one. Dre dribbles left. Nice crossover to get to the free throw line. Now fights inside and hands off to Tally, who walks. Southeastern turnover gives South Coast Fire the basketball back. Trailing by one. They have a chance to take their first lead of the game. First turnover of the game for Southeastern, and it comes seven minutes and 25 seconds into the contest. Pass comes to the near side for Griffin. Fires the three for the lead, and he got it. Rather, they mark it as a three. Yes. Looked like one referee set it two. 12-22 remaining in the half, and the South Coast Fire have a two-point lead, 15-13. Dana Thomas, the senior from Houston, handing off to Andre Winston. Winston looking left and finds Joe Little. The junior from Michigan pivots, kicks to Jordan Talley. Talley looks back to the point. Winston, nice move to the elbow to a wide-open Talley for three. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound controlled out of the hands of Joe Little and picked up by Alex Smith. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it belongs to the South Coast Fire. Southeastern extending their defense as the ball comes in to Brian, rather to Garrett Naughton, a 6'8 forward from Orange Park, Florida, and Barry University. At the point, it's Eric Ruffin working left side against Joe Little. Kick pass to the near side for Sherrod Harris. His three ball is short. Rebound is controlled by Naughton, who goes back up and gets the second chance point. 11.30 remaining in the first half. The South Coast Fire have a 17-13 lead over Southeastern. Dre Winston hands off to Jordan Talley. Talley on the dribble, working against Ruffin. Hands off at the top of the key to Dana Thomas. Thomas looks a little in the right corner. Now to Dre Winston. He's fouled, goes back up, forced up the shot, doesn't get it to go. McLeod's tip doesn't go, and now Dre collects the rebound with a fresh 35. Winston trying to drive up and under the defense. His layup is good. With 11.02 remaining in the first half, the fire deficit is two at 17 to 15. 
Looking to the near side. Ball at the top of the key to Harold Griffin. Griffin looks to the near corner for Eric Ruffin. Ruffin now back to Griffin. Griffin trying to drive. spin around the move. Hands off inside. And a one-handed flush by Alex Smith, the 6'9 product of Bethune-Cookman. 10-35 remaining in the half. The South Coast Fire have a 19-15 lead over Southeastern. Tally to the rim and draws the foul. 10-31 remaining in the first half of play. Foul goes against Harold Griffin, number 33, the Lee University product. Gets his first and the team's second. Jordan tallied to the free throw line for Southeastern and connects on the first. 19-16 in favor of the South Coast Fire. Jordan Talley this season, averaging 6.3 points per game and is now 2 of 3 at the free throw line. Senior with one more. Off the left hand and through. 10-31 remaining in the first half. Southeastern trails the South Coast Fire by 2, 19-17. Jeremy Fountain setting up the offense now. Fountain with a little bit of a push off. Gets to the rack, lays it up and in. Fountain, the Valdosta, Georgia product, gets the fire up to a four-point leader once again at 21-17. Dre Winston across the timeline from left to right. Winston looking left, floats the ball over to Xavier Burrow, who's checked into the game. Three-point shot by Talley, doesn't go. Rebound tipped out and controlled by Garrett Naughton of the South Coast Fire. In transition is Eric Ruffin. Ruffin kicks out to the right side for Jeremy Fountain. Fountain fires the three, nothing but net. 9.50 remaining in the first half, and the South Coast Fire have their biggest lead of the game at 7. Andre Winston on the slow jog across midcourt. Matched up one-on-one -on -one against Fountain. Fires out to the left side for McLeod. Jordan to the top of the key for Xavier Burrow. X now gives way to Dre Winston. Andre looking. Fires the three. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Garrett Naughton. Outside shooting hasn't fallen yet, but the Fire do get an interception. Jordan McLeod back the other way. Around one defender and a block called. The basket counts and one. Great play all around by Jordan McLeod to pick the ball off in transition, race the other way into the lane, and draw the block. Checking into the game for the South Coast Fire, Rick Lamb, number 32, a 6'7 product of Mississippi Valley State. He replaces Alex Smith. 24-19, the South Coast Fire lead the Southeastern University Fire. McLeod with a chance to make it a four-point game and does. 24-20 in favor of the South Coast Fire. They have the basketball in the red jerseys from right to left. Ball comes to the near side for Rick Lamb. Lamb handing off on the near wing for Solomon Jones. Jones give and go in the near corner. Three-point shot on the way off the front of the rim. No. And the offensive rebound tracked down by Rick Lamb. Lamb back to the top of the key for Eric Ruffin. Ruffin fights through two defenders. Out to the far corner for Jeremy Fountain. Fountain lost the ball inside. Instead, Solomon Jones picks it up in the near corner. Fights through the defense. Throws the ball at the rim. No luck. Rebound pulled down by Larry Taylor of Southeastern. The Bob Jones University product kicks it out to the far side for Dana Thomas. Thomas back to the former Liberty Flame in Taylor. He hands off back to Dana. Now to the left side for McLeod. Into the far corner. The ball goes to Jordan Talley. Now to Xavier Burrow. X at the right elbow. Hands off to Thomas. Dana had the ball swiped at. It was instead able to protect it away from Eric Ruffin with 10 to shoot. Thomas trying to drive. Goes up against Lamb. Layup, no. Nice job by McLeod to punch the rebound out to Larry Taylor. His layup doesn't go. And Lamb pulls away the rebound for the South Coast Fire. 8-10 remaining in the first half. 24-20 in favor of the South Coast Fire. Here's Solomon Jones in the near corner. Little rise and fire jumper, good for two. 26-20 in favor of the South Coast Fire. Eight minutes even remaining in our opening half of play. Playing all NAI rules, even though one team is a member of the American Basketball Association. Here's McLeod.
7.36 to play in our opening half between the South Coast Fire and the Southeastern University Fire. And the South Coast Fire of the ABA have a 26-22 advantage, shooting 52.4% from the field, Southeastern 45% from the field, struggling from long range, just one of six. Meanwhile, the South Coast Fire, three of ten. Both teams really liking to shoot the outside. Solomon Jones looking in the near corner for Garrett Naughton. He drives. His one-handed runner doesn't go. Got his own rebound. Put back by Naughton is good. 7.24 remaining in the half. And Garrett Naughton makes it a six-point lead for the South Coast Fire at 28-22. Xavier Burr on the right wing looking inside to Dana Thomas. Back to X. Back to Dana on the right side with 7.11 to play. Larry Taylor's crossover. Looks out to the left side. Joe Little, an awesome look from three. Buries it. They lost Little in transition with seven minutes to go in the first half. The Fire have cut the deficit to three. 28-25. South Coast Fire with the basketball. Garrett Naughton looking left. Stops at the top of the key. Kicks to Eric Ruffin. Ruffin directing traffic. Now brings it back to the near side with Jeremy Fountain. He cross courts it to Solomon Jones. Jones trying to drive. Dishes off inside. That ball swatted away. Taking it away is Southeastern. Dana Thomas hands off to Dre Winston looking left side for Larry Taylor. Taylor to the rack. His layup is good. 6.30 remaining in the first half. Here comes Southeastern. It's a one-point deficit. 28-27. They led this game early on. Coast to coast layup. Good by Jeremy Fountain. So now Southeastern will see if they elect to try and run with them or try and slow it down. Breakaway for Eric Ruffin. Look out below. One-handed flush. 6.09 remaining in the half. The basket off to our left is going to be shaken for a little while. 32-27. to 27. Taking advantage of the Southeastern turnover. Larry Taylor trying to slow this game down. Working one-on-one -on -one against Jeremy Fountain. Kicks it over to Joe Little. Now hands off back to Taylor. Has the ball punched away from out of bounds. And the possession stays with Southeastern. As Jordan Talley and Jordan McLeod come back in for Southeastern. Harold Griffin returns for the South Coast Fire as does Anthony Wynn. They replace Garrett Naughton and Rick Lamb. 5.49 remaining in the half, and also coming into the contest for Southeastern is Matt Crow, number 33. Andre Winston at inbound. Jordan Talley handing off to Winston. Dre calling for Larry Taylor. Now gets him the basketball with three to shoot. With two. With one. Never recognized it. Ball taken away by the South Coast Fire instead. Anyways, there Eric Ruffin. He loses it in transition. Now Jordan McLeod handing off to Larry Taylor. 5.23 remaining in our first half of play. The South Coast Fire of the ABA 32. The Southeastern University Fire of the NAI 27. Matt Crow on the right wing. Works it out to the left side to Tally. Fire putting an extra three-point shooter on the floor. Here's Winston from the right wing. Goes to the rack. One-handed flush between traffic. Great play by the Portland State transfer. And Southeastern trails 32-29. to That'll make the highlight reel. Griffin looks inside. Elbow flies. Offensive foul called against Anthony Wynn. Dre Winston fired up trying to get his team going. 4.49 remaining in the first half. Southeastern trails by three. A chance to tie on this possession. Big time credit going to Andre Winston for firing up the troops. He has 13 points, the game lead right now. Southeastern from left to right. Larry Taylor, keep the ball coming to that man. Dre Winston, who looks right to Jordan Talley. Back to Winston, out to Larry Taylor on the left side, who goes inside to Jordan McLeod. McLeod looks to Taylor. Larry cuts to the basket. Lost the ball inside. It's taken away by Jeremy Fountain, who's fouled in transition. Andre Winston so fired up, he just gave the official a pat of encouragement. Four twenty-six remaining in the half. Jeremy Fountain gets a break. Back into the game, Sherrod Harris, the product of Brockport State, New York. Looking inside, here's Alex Smith. Smith trying to back down McLeod. Turn around, hook shot, no. Tip is no good. And it's finally Harold Griffin coming away with the offensive rebound. Out to the far side, it's Eric Ruffin. Ruffin trying to get away from Dre Whitson. Ball jarred loose by McLeod. It's regained by the South Coast Fire. Griffin for three. 
Short. Rebound Jordan Talley with 4.04 remaining in the half. Three-point game. Here's Dre Winston on the left side. Dre, crossover, 18-footer, bingo! Great-looking shot by Dre Winston and a long stare into the South Coast fire bench as Southeastern's within a point. Quick pass inside, turnaround layup. No, the putback is good, though, by Alex Smith. 3.40 to play in a fast-moving first half. 34-31, South Coast Fire. Here's Dre Winston looking out to the right for Larry Taylor. Taylor steps back and keeps the dribble, working against the South Coast Fire 2-3 matchup zone. Ball at the top of the key to Tally. Out to the left side, Dre Winston fights through two defenders, finds Crow in the right corner with 12 to shoot. To the rack, the layup doesn't go, but Matt Crow draws the foul. Block whistled against number 23, Alex Smith, the product of Bethune-Cookman. Sends Matt Crow to the free throw line for two. Crow getting in on his first action of the season. With 3.15 to go in the half. Crow toes the line. The circle, sitter, the circle Christian product converts the free throw. The Orlando, Florida native has one more. Dana Thomas replaces Jordan Talley. Joined on the floor by Matt Crow, Jordan McLeod, Dre Winston, and Larry Taylor. Crow's free throw is good again. One point game, 34-33. And they need the shot clock reset. They kind of reset it. They put it to 34, and now we're good to go. The South Coast Fire dressed in red from right to left. Ball out to the far side for Sherrod Harris. Harris skipping it back to the near side for Harold Griffin. Ball back to the point. Now they kick it out right side for Harris. Harris with 2.56 to play, working against the Southeastern defense. 30-footer on the way. No. Rebound Dana Thomas of Southeastern with 2.50 to play. Southeastern a chance to regain the lead on this possession. Handoff goes to Andre Winston. Goes back to Dana. Thomas eyeing up the defense. Now works towards the corner. Looking back towards Jordan McLeod. Head fake. Now kicks it out to the left side. Winston thought about the three. Larry Taylor an open look from three. Doesn't get it to go. Jordan McLeod the offensive rebound. McLeod to Taylor on the baseline. Cuts through traffic and kicks out to the near corner with a fresh shot clock. Now it's Dre Winston out to Dana Thomas. Now they kick it back to the near side for Taylor. Larry getting himself some real estate, still with 20 to shoot, as now Dre Winston takes over on the left side. Back to Taylor for three. Doesn't get it to go. Harold Griffin, the rebound for the South Coast Fire. Out to the near side for Sherrod Harris, or correction for Eric Ruffin. Ruffin floats it inside. Head fake by Smith. He goes up a second time and lays it in with two minutes to play in the first half. 36-33 in favor of the South Coast Fire. Southeastern's made it close a couple times here in the second half. But the South Coast Fire have always found a key basket to keep themselves up. Andre Winston on the left wing. Stepping back against the screen. He fires a 25-footer and buries it. 36-35. Rather, 36 all. Shot no good. And the rebound controlled by Dana Thomas. Ahead to Dre Winston. Tracks it down just before it goes out of bounds. No, they say it dribbled on the end line. 36 all with 84 seconds to play in this first half. A very entertaining 18 minutes and 36 seconds of basketball. South Coast Fire of the ABA rolling in to Eric Ruffin. The Hampton University product comes across the timeline where he's matched up against Matt Crow. Out to the right side for Harold Griffin. Back up to the point for Ruffin. Ruffin working in the near side with 73 seconds. Here's Smith and Wynn in the lane. Handing off on the near side, trying to go to Alex Smith inside. Alex kicking inside for win. His layup doesn't go, but Matt Crow called for the foul. One minute, three seconds remaining in the first half of play. And the South Coast Fire with free throws coming up. To the line, Anthony Wynn. Played at Virginia Commonwealth University. His first look in front of a... Great crowd here at the Furnace is good. South Coast Fire have regained the lead at 37-36. Into the contest for Southeastern, Karsten Olsen. 
from Tacoma, Washington. Transfer from Pacific Lutheran University. A minute three to play. Wins second free throw is short. And Caleb Kinesny comes up with the rebound in the lane. Andre Winston from left to right. Dre handing off to Dana Thomas with 50 seconds. Thomas working the left side of the lane. Drives, now kicks back out to Kinesny. Caleb, drive, kick, out to the right side for KO. Olsen looking to the point. Head fake, nice move by Winston, but he walked. Travel called, and it gives the ball to the South Coast Fire with a one-point lead and 40.6 seconds remaining in the opening half. Inbound pass comes in to Eric Ruffin. South Coast Fire with a one-point lead through 19 and a half minutes of basketball. Ball comes to the near side for Harold Griffin. Back out to Ruffin. Back to Griffin as they play catch on the perimeter. 20 to shoot. Ruffin with it. Now 18. Looks to win. Back outside. Three ball. Good by Eric Ruffin. Final 17 seconds of the first half. And the South Coast Fire have a four-point lead. Andre Winston, who's been the star of the show in this first half, with five. Thomas looking to Olsen. His three ball is off the mark. And the rebound pulled down by Anthony Wynn ends the first half of play. Through 20 minutes of men's basketball at the Furnace, the South Coast Fire of the American Basketball Association have a 40-36 lead over the NAIA's Southeastern University Fire. We'll step aside for a quick timeout. We'll come back with our second half of action. Southeastern trailing the South Coast Fire by four.
Second half action underway as the South Coast Fire take on the Southeastern University Fire. Glad you could join us for tonight's game as the Southeastern University Fire have the basketball from right to left. Dana Thomas trying to drive in. His running one-hander is off the mark. Jordan McLeod's put back doesn't go. Got his own rebound again, but it's taken away back the other way by number five, Eric Ruffin of the South Coast Fire. Quick three in the left corner is off the mark, short by Sherrod Harris. And Caleb Konezny comes up with a loose rebound for the Southeastern University Fire. 40-36 to 36 in favor of the South Coast Fire as we begin the second 20 minutes of play. The South Coast Fire 1-2 and two in the ABA. Southeastern University 2-1, and one, members of the NAIA and the Sun Conference. Dre Winston flipping out to the right side for Dana Thomas. Back to Caleb Konezny. Caleb looking for a cutting Dana Thomas. Ball ricochets and taken away. Cortell Paulding cuts to the basket. His layup spins out. No. Larry Taylor punched the ball out to the top of the key where it's controlled by Alex Smith. Quickly inside trying to go back to Cortell Pauling who lays it in. 32-46 or rather 42-36 in favor of the South Coast Fire. Leading scorer in the first half, Andre Winston with 18 points. Konezny dials long distance for three. 18-33 remaining in the second half, and it's 42-39. Quick pass out to the far side for Eric Ruffin of the South Coast Fire. South Coast dressed in red. Southeastern dressed in white. Spin move by Alex Smith. Backs out as he works against McLeod. Behind the back pass to Cortell Pauling, the Barry University product. 10 on the shot clock, 18.08 on the game clock. Working off the screen is Eric Ruffin. Looks to the near corner for Sherrod Harris. Back to the point. Three ball. Ruffin, good. Two, rather. His toe is on the line. Two points. And it's a 44-39 lead for the South Coast Fire. Ball at the top of the key for Andre Winston. Looks out to the far side for Larry Taylor. Taylor played previously at Liberty University as well as Bob Jones University. Loose basketball, Jordan McLeod somehow gets it to Taylor who has it punched away from him with 15 on the shot clock. Southeastern maintains possession. 17.36 on the game clock, 14 on the shot clock. Andre Winston to inbound, joined on the floor by Jordan McLeod, Caleb Konezny, Larry Taylor, and Dana Thomas. Inbound comes into Konezny in the near corner. He looks to Larry Taylor. Ten on the shot clock. Taylor calling out the offense with the left hand. Down to seven. Taylor working one-on-one -on -one against Harris. Now hands off to Winston with three, with two. Winston forces up the shot, didn't get it off in time. Shot clock violation southeast and the South Coast Fire take over with 17-21 remaining in the second half and a 44-39 advantage. Southeastern extends their defense man-to-man, -man, full court. Eric Ruffin inbounds to Sherrod Harris, who looks for help in the form of a screen from Anthony Wynn. Harris across midcourt where he's picked up by Konezny. Caleb screened out. Harris looks back to the left side for Eric Ruffin. Ruffin, hook pass to the near side. Three bomb by Pauling is off the mark. Offensive rebound, Anthony Wynn. Wynn back to the point for Harris. Out to the left side for Eric Ruffin. Fresh 35 to work with. Nice dish inside. Hesitation move, and Wynn goes up and lays it in. The VCU product gives his team a 46-39 advantage with 16-40 remaining in the second half. Dana Thomas looks out to Larry Taylor on the right side, who now finds Andre Winston. Drives baseline and fouled. Sherrod Harris trying to argue the call. He is unsuccessful as Harris picks up the infraction. It's his first, team's first of the second half. To the free throw line, Andre Winston, who in a game that's filled with former Division I standouts, which I guess he would fit that as well as a former 10-point-per-game scorer at Portland State connecting on the first. He stood out the most. He's got 19. He is the second-leading scorer in NAI Division II men's basketball. Just a tick over 29 points per game. Winston with one more. The Tacoma, Washington native. Spins the ball in his hand, puts up the second free throw, and scores his 20th point of the game. 
Six-point lead for the South Coast Fire, 46-40. to They have the basketball left to right. Ball out to the right side for Cortell Pauling, and a foul whistled. Looks like against McLeod. 16-28 in the half. Jordan McLeod picking up his first personal. Inbounding the basketball for a Willie Pons group is Eric Ruffin, the Hampton product. Ruffin floats it out to the far corner for Sherrod Harris. Game clock now starting, and it's taken away by Dana Thomas. Great job by Dana to get into the passing lane. Finds Konezny. Caleb's layup is good. 16-20 remaining in the second half, and the Fire are back within a one-possession game. 46-43 in favor of the South Coast Fire. Ball at the top of the key for Eric Ruffin. Ruffin calling for some help, trying to get Pauling to come out of that corner. Ruffin calling for a cut. Not at all happy with the lack of movement on offense right now. Looks inside for Anthony Wynn, who drives against McLeod. His layup doesn't go. Loose basketball picked up by Eric Ruffin of the South Coast Fire. 15.50 to play, 31 to shoot. Now it's Ruffin looking out to the left side and finds Sherrod Harris. Brockport State standout looking to the left side. Instead crosses over. Against the screen by Wynn. Looks to the right corner. Catch and shoot three is good by Eric Ruffin. 15-30 remaining in the second half. Winston trying to drive. Thought he drew the foul. Did not. The ball goes out of bounds to Southeastern. 15-27 remaining in the second half. The Fire have the basketball with a fresh 35 on the shot clock. Maybe. Thirty on the shot clock. Winston gets the basketball from the official, and we're ready to go. Finds Matt Crow, whose 18-footer is off the mark, got his own rebound. Crow looks to the near side. Konezny for three, got it to go. 15-20 remaining in the half. It's a three-point game. 49-46 in favor of the South Coast Fire. They have the basketball. Setting up the offense is Eric Ruffin. Looks out to the left side for Sherrod Harris. Into the corner for Wynn. Wynn back out now trying to find Ruffin. Ruffin over to Harris. He fires the 25-footer and left it short. Andre Winston the rebound for Southeastern. A chance to tie with a three. Here's Crow on the right wing. Nearly had it taken away. Matt pivots. Now gets the ball to Konezny. For the tie. Left it short. Rebound picked up by Alex Smith. Out to the left side. Here's Eric Ruffin. Ruffin working against Crow. Now backs out with 14.38 remaining in the second half. Ruffin directing traffic. Now picks up the dribble once again. Trying to get Sherrod Harris in the right spot as he rolls in the basketball. Harris pumps left, pumps right. Now kicks back to the near side for Eric Ruffin. Cross court pass. Three ball by Pauling. Falls in. 14.17 remaining in the half. From right to left go the Southeastern University Fire trailing by six. Winston looking over to the far side of the floor for Dana Thomas, who looks inside for Jordan McLeod. McLeod, nice move, runs into a pair of defenders, though, spins away from into the lane. Hesitation, now trying to find Crow, who boots it off his knee out of bounds to the South Coast Fire. 13.57 remaining in the second half of play. And a couple of substitutions. Jordan Talley replaces Dana Thomas for Southeastern. Harold Griffin into the South Coast Fire lineup. And also coming in for the South Coast Fire is Alex Smith. Out to the right side. Here's Jeremy Fountain. Fountain looking to the elbow. Now kick back out to the left wing for Eric Ruffin. Ruffin back to the near side. Fountain for three. No. Rebound pulled down by Jordan McLeod. 13-33 remaining in the second half of play. Southeastern with the basketball. Down six. Dre Winston off a screen. Plenty of room to work. Steps back. Now tries to drive again. Hands off to Konezny. Caleb Hall's in the errant pass. Try to go back to McLeod. And somehow the fire maintained possession. Winston to the rack. And one. 13-17 remaining in the half. Andre Winston putting on a show tonight. He has a chance to convert the old-fashioned three-point play as his team trails 52-48. Winston with 22 
He leads all scores. Konezny gets a break. He's replaced by Larry Taylor. Winston's free throw is no good. Rebound tracked down by Harold Griffin of the South Coast Fire with 13 and a quarter remaining in the second half. To the right side, here's Fountain. Jeremy Fountain looking to the point now for Eric Ruffin. Ruffin out to the left side to Griffin. Alley-oop and flushed home by Alex Smith. Nice pass by Griffin from the left wing with 12.57 remaining in the second half. It's a 54-48 lead for the South Coast Fire. Larry Taylor across the timeline. Working one-on-one -on -one against Eric Ruffin. Taylor cuts to the left side. Now finds Andre Winston. Back cross court to Jordan Talley. Talley trying to back down Griffin. Now finds Taylor. Taylor between three defenders. Can't get the shot to go. McLeod tracked down the rebound. It rolls out of bounds to the South Coast Fire. 12-33 remaining. Second half of play. 54-48 in favor of the South Coast Fire. They have the basketball working left to right in the red jerseys. If you're just joining us, this is the annual Silent Night game. No noise in the crowd until Southeastern reached 10 points. Out to the left side, Griffins. Pass is picked off by Dre Winston. Winston lost the handle on it, picks it back up on the right wing. Dre between two defenders. Cuts into the lane, hands off to McLeod, running one. Hander is good. 12.08 remaining second half. Southeastern refusing to go away against their professional competition. Four-point game. South Coast from left to right. Jeremy Fountain looking inside, connecting with Alex Smith. Smith lost the handle on it, trying to pick it up as Matt Crow. Southeastern from right to left. Andre Winston, spinorama move at midcourt. Works his way into the lane, running one. Hander is good. 11.40 remaining. Winston continues to shine. He has 24. His team trails an ABA team by two. Ball out to the left wing for Jeremy Fountain. Fountain looking up top for Harold Griffin. Griffin back out long for Eric Ruffin with 18 to shoot. Ruffin, the Suffolk, Virginia native, looking on the left side. Both teams slowing this game down a little bit, trying to pick and choose. Win out to the left side, driving his fountain, looking for a dish inside to Smith. His layup is around the rim, no. Andre Winston the rebound. Southeastern a chance to tie or take the lead as the fans come to their feet. Here at the Furnace, wide open three. Larry Taylor doesn't get it to go. Rebound controlled by Jordan McLeod. He's fouled, and a bad call as Eric Ruffin got all ball in that reach. Southeastern gets to take advantage. They're going to get free throws. 10.53 remaining in the second half. Jordan McLeod to the free throw line. With two made free throws, he ties this game. Dana Thomas, Joe Little getting set to check back in as McLeod gets the first one to fall in. Matt Crow heads out after turning in some quality minutes. Also coming in for the South Coast Fire, Rick Lamb, along with Brian Campbell, as getting a break are Anthony Wynn and Alex Smith to tie the game. McLeod, after tying the game, exits as he's replaced by Dana Thomas. McLeod turning in some quality minutes tonight as well. With 10.50 remaining in the second half, Southeastern 54, South Coast Fire 54. Setting up the offense is Jeremy Fountain looking inside to Rick Lamb. Lamb trying to back his man down, spin around a move and walked. The basketball goes back to Southeastern with a chance to regain the lead since early in the first half. 10.38 to play in the second half. Southeastern right to left as Larry Taylor sets up the offense for the fire. Larry trying to get Dre Winston in the right spot as he moves him back to the right side of the floor. Taylor works 1v1 against Eric Ruffin. 18 to shoot. Rise and fire three. Taylor takes the lead on a three ball. 57-54 Southeastern. Great take by Larry Taylor. Ball at the top of the key for Eric Ruffin of the South Coast Fire. Ruffin working the right side. Great behind the back dribble. Looking nowhere to go. Griffin, outlet to the near side. Fountain for three, and this game is tied. 9.57 remaining in the second half. 57 all. Should be a great back and forth finish these final nine minutes and 50 seconds. 
Here's Andre Winston into the lane. Lost the handle on the ball. And Rick Lamb comes away with the loose basketball. Across the timeline goes Ruffin. Nearly threw it away as he was trying to set up a nonchalant pass to Jeremy Fountain. 9.30 to go. Ruffin gets the basketball back as he works against Taylor. Great cut to the basket as he kicks out left side. Griffin for three. Good. 9.20 remaining in the second half. And the Fire have gone from a three-point leader to a three-point trailer. They have the basketball working right to left. As Jordan Talley sets up on the right wing. Talley tries to take it. Left-handed layup doesn't go. The ball goes off of Griffin out of bounds. And the ball goes back to Southeastern. 9 7 to play in the half. Caleb Konezny gives Andre Winston a very well-deserved break. I believe this is the first time he's come out. Probably won't be out very long either. Setting up the offense is Larry Taylor for Southeastern with nine minutes remaining in the second half. Taylor gets the ball back from Caleb Konezny. Now to Jordan Talley on the left wing. Talley works it back to the top of the key and finds Taylor. Fakes right. Pulls up for three. Got it to go again. Larry Taylor has tied this game for a second time. 60 all. Eight and three quarters remaining in the second half. Here's Jeremy Fountain getting a bump from Caleb Konezny. 8.37 to go. Ball goes out of bounds to the South Coast Fire. It'll be Harold Griffin to come over and inbound. Griffin looks and hands the ball off on the near sideline to Brian Campbell. Campbell looking near side to Eric Ruffin. Goes back to Griffin. Griffin fadeaway jumper in the lane. Rims home. 8.28 remaining in the second half. It's a 62-60 lead for the South Coast Fire. Larry Taylor sets up the Southeastern University offense. Works one-on-one -on -one against Jeremy Fountain. Working the right sideline. Curls to the baseline. Goes coast to to the near side to Tally. Up top, Joe Little for three. Too strong. Rebound, Caleb Konezny into the hands of Jordan Tally. They reset the offense at the top of the key. Not sure what the call is. I have a shot clock issue. Game clock at 8.01. Shot clock at 32. Taylor from right to left for Southeastern. Larry stops top of the key. Why not? Left it short this time. Konezny tracks down the rebound. He finds Jordan Talley. Talley to the rack. His running one-hander is good. Southeastern has tied the game again. 62 all. Across the timeline is Eric Ruffin. He's matched up one-on-one -on -one against Dana Thomas. Ruffin, step back, two-point shot, nope. Rebound pulled down by Brian Campbell. Back out to Ruffin as they get another 35 to work with. Ball drawn loose by Dana Thomas. Drawn loose again. Loose ball is kept alive by Dana. And a foul is called. Are they going to go against Griffin or are they going against Thomas? It's against Griffin. Harold Griffin at 6'8", and I'll say 245. Gets knocked to the floor by Dana Thomas. Dana will feel that one in the morning. 7-19 to play in the second half. Southeastern and South Coast knotted at 62. Caleb Konezny burns a timeout. Timeout on the floor. 7-19 remaining in the second half. A full timeout taken by Southeastern in a 62-62 tie.
7-19 remaining in the second half. Southeastern University, South Coast Fire tied at 62 all. Southeastern with the basketball right to left. Larry Taylor getting the offense going. Taylor trying to drive, works his way inside. Rejected by Brian Campbell. 19 on the shot clock as Konezny gets on the left side. Looking inside McLeod. McLeod, head fake, layup, no. Rebound, Jordan McLeod. Nope, taken away by Rick Lamb. Lobs it inside. Campbell, two-handed flush. Brian Campbell gets his first points of the game with 6.45 remaining in the half. And his team has taken a 64-62 lead over the Southeastern University Fire. Game's leading scorer right now, Southeastern's Andre Winston, number 24. 24 points, three rebounds, two assists. Three ball, tally is short. Brian Campbell, the rebound for the South Coast Fire. Setting up the offense is Eric Ruffin. 10 points, seven assists tonight for Ruffin. The Hampton University product crosses over to get away from Thomas, flips it out to the left side. Pull up jumper by Griffin is good. Harold Griffin for three to give his team a five point advantage, 67 62. Larry Taylor hands off at the top of the key to Dana Thomas. Back to Larry on the right wing. Taylor with eight points and two boards tonight. Here's Tally for three. He got it to go. 550 remaining in the second half. Southeastern trails it just by two, 67 65. Setting up the offense now is Jeremy Fountain for the South Coast Fire. Fountain across the timeline and a foul whistle. Ball goes out of bounds to the South Coast Fire. Larry Taylor guilty of the infraction. 5.35 to play in the second half. Been a great back and forth ball game between the ABA South Coast Fire and the Southeastern University Fire. Here's Rick Lamb going under the basket. His layup doesn't connect. Rebound, Jordan McLeod. Ahead to Dre Winston, working the right side of the lane. Dre steps back on the right wing. Winston trying to get the offense going with 5.15 to go. Konezny fires the three and got it to go. 5.11 remaining and Caleb Konezny gives Southeastern the lead. 68 to 67. Konezny with 11 in the contest. And that is his third three of the game. Griffin trying to back down Tally. Shuffles to the near side for Rick Lamb. Lamb gets hacked inside by Tally. Four fifty-one to go. The fog is called against Jordan Talley. It's his first, the team's fourth. Four fifty-one to go in the second half. At the free throw line is Rick Lamb. The free throw doesn't go. Lamb has not scored in today's game yet. Four fifty-one to play. Free throw, good by Lamb. He gets a break. He's replaced by Alex Smith. 4.51 to go. And they got to get the shot clock set before we continue play. Inbound pass comes in to Andre Winston with 4.50 to go in a 68-68 game. Konezny fires another three. In and out. Rebound pulled down by Alex Smith of the South Coast Fire. 4.40 to play. The South Coast Fire with the basketball in a 68-all game. Setting up the offense is Eric Ruffin. Ruffin looking inside. Ill-advised pass taken away by Andre Winston. Dre, nice behind the back dribble to get away from trouble from Anthony Wynn. Kicks to the near side. McLeod's jumper is off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Harold Griffin of the South Coast Fire. Great job to get back by McLeod, but still Ruffin able to score on the layup. 4-12 remaining in the second half. 70-68 in favor of the South Coast Fire. Dana Thomas setting up the SEU offense. Jordan Talley from the near wing. Hands off to Andre Winston. Winston looking up top 
for Thomas. He goes to the basket and lays it in. 3.53 remaining second half, 70 to 70. Jeremy Fountain across the timeline, working one-on-one -on -one against Dana Thomas. Fountain cuts to the basket, shuffles over, and they miss the dunk, but a foul is called as Alex Smith was going to the basket. Jordan McLeod guilty of the infraction. Not a bad strategy to try and make the South Coast fire earn it at the free throw line. Alex Smith shooting two. He's got ten points today. His first free throw rims hard off the heel of the iron. Larry Taylor replaces Jordan Talley in the Southeastern lineup. 70 all. Alex Smith with a chance to take the lead. Smith's free throw is up, and it is no good. Rebound Jordan McLeod. 70 all. Southeastern a chance to take the lead for themselves. Dre Winston to the rack. Rejected. Ball back out to the top of the key for Larry Taylor. Tree, tree, tree to play. Working inside is Andre Winston. Jump stop. Looks to the corner for Konezny. Caleb drives. Rejected. Now it's Jordan McLeod. He goes up. Rejected. And the ball taken away by Harold Griffin. Setting it up now is Eric Ruffin. Still a 70-70 contest. Griffin working against Konezny with 3.12 to go. Ball to the top of the key to Jeremy Fountain. Jab steps, now steps back and starts to dribble as he works one-on-one -on -one against Larry Taylor. Comes off the screen, now is picked up by McLeod. Rise and fire, jumper from 18, no. Rebound is taken away by Larry Taylor of Southeastern. Inside of three minutes to go, and a kick ball will give Southeastern the basketball back with 2.53 remaining in the second half. Game still knotted at 70. Dana Thomas to inbound. He's joined in the deck. By Larry Taylor, Caleb Konezny, Jordan McLeod, and Andre Winston. Countering for Willie Pond, South Coast Fire. They go with Anthony Wynn along with Eric Ruffin, Alex Smith, Jeremy Fountain, and Harold Griffin. 2.43 to play. Dana Thomas nearly had his pocket pick. Now look out to the outside for Konezny. Up to Andre Winston with 10 to shoot. Winston. Great acting job as he's able to draw a foul on his way to the rim. Fresh 35 for Southeastern, 2.33 to play, and the basketball out of bounds on the fifth foul against the South Coast Fire. Ball comes to the near side. Nice head fake by Taylor as he gets cut off on the baseline. Now Larry rotates back out to the top of the key. Here's McLeod looking right side for Konezny. Konezny. One dribble, now to Andre Winston. 22 on the shot clock. Konezny ahead fake, steps back with 19. Winston looking for Jordan McLeod. Inside to Thomas. To the near side for Larry Taylor with 10 to shoot. Taylor driving baseline. Fade away jumper by Taylor is nothing but net. Oh, a tough shot by the junior from Inglewood, Florida. Gives Southeastern a 72-70 advantage. Inside of two minutes to play. Jeremy Fountain working baseline and is fouled by Larry Taylor. Larry Taylor's had a great game tonight. He has 13 in the contest. Ball goes out of bounds to the South Coast Fire. Basketball comes in to Eric Ruffin. Three-point shot. Griffin, no good. Rebound Dana Thomas with one minute, 50 seconds to play. Thomas works from the right wing. Dana hands off to Larry Taylor. The junior settling down the offense with 100 seconds remaining in regulation. Ball picked loose. Taylor keeps the dribble alive. Out to the right side for Thomas. Dana trying to dribble with 17 to shoot. Andre Winston gets the basketball. Top of the key. Dre looks near side. Taylor for three. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound tracked out long to Jeremy Fountain of the South Coast Fire. 80 seconds to play. Two-point lead for Southeastern. Across the timeline is Eric Ruffin. Off the screen, looking from the right side, he's picked up by Konezny. Ruffin looking inside now for Alex Smith. Smith working against Winston, his layup is no good. Rebound tipped back up and in with one minute and four seconds to play. 72-72. Winston nearly lost the basketball out of bounds along the near sideline. Dre matched up one-on-one -on -one with Eric Ruffin. 50 seconds to play. 
Winston off the screen by McLeod and a timeout taken by R.J. Barsh with 45 and 8 tenths remaining in the second half. So the Fire have the basketball with a 25 second difference between shot clock and game clock. And right now, Coach Barsh along with Eddie Anderson, Jeremy Grammer, and Buddy Mason come out to draw up the play. They'll have a chance to take the lead, but also, barring a missed portion of the schedule with a trip to Florida National University on December the 16th, and then they will host the first ever Southeastern University This One's Four Classic. On the 18th, they'll take on Southwest Assemblies of God, Southwestern Assembly of God University, and then they'll take on Evangel on the 19th. Should be a great four-game set. And we can't emphasize the game that Andre Winston's had enough. 24 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. Solid night for Jordan McLeod. 11 points, 11 rebounds. Larry Taylor, 10 points, 4 rebounds. And it's Southeastern basketball inbounding from right in front of us with 45.8 seconds remaining in the contest. Inbounding for the fire is Dana Thomas. He gets it into Caleb Konezny in a 72-all game. Konezny hands off to Dana with 40 seconds. Now it's Winston with 10 to shoot. Dre off the screen. Works back to the top of the key with seven. With five, works his way through the lane. The layup doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by South Coast Fires. Dre drew it loose. It's off the bottom of the backboard, out of bounds to the South Coast Fire. The shot clock is off, 27 seconds to play. The South Coast Fire can hold for the final shot in regulation if they wish. Ball comes into Eric Ruffin, 72 all. 22 seconds remaining. Ruffin across the timeline. Willie Pons wants timeout. 20 seconds remaining in regulation. Timeout taken by the South Coast Fire. We'll set it up for you. 72-72 with 20.1 seconds to play. The possession arrow favors the South Coast Fire right now. Both teams with plenty of timeouts remaining. The South Coast Fire have five. Southeastern, I believe, with three. Nobody in serious foul trouble. Both teams with a foul to give. In fact, the South Coast Fire with an additional foul to give. Correction, Southeastern's next foul results in the single bonus for the South Coast Fire. The South Coast Fire have an additional one to give. They're at five team fouls, whereas Southeastern is at six. No individuals are in foul trouble. Should be a great finish. It's been an entertaining back and forth basketball game. I don't believe there has ever been a three possession lead in this game. Twenty point one seconds to play. South Coast Fire basketball. Basketball belongs to the South Coast Fire. Inbounding is Jeremy Fountain. Comes in to Eric Ruffin. 15 seconds. Ruffin directing traffic. He's matched up against Thomas in the final 10 seconds of regulation. Griffin crosses over with five. Trying to cut. Cut off. Three-point shot by Griffin is off the mark. The rebound is controlled with one. Can't get a handle on it. A shot is no good. And we are going to overtime. 40 minutes, not enough. Why not another five? It's been a very entertaining contest thus so far. We're going to give you another five minutes. 72-72 as we head to OT. We'll set up the extra stanza when we come back.
Good news, we've got five more minutes of basketball between Southeastern and the South Coast Fire coming up. Overtime, 72-72 through 40 minutes of play. Jump ball to start off the extra session. Is controlled by the South Coast Fire who work from left to right across your screen wearing the red jersey. Southeastern from right to left wearing the whites. Ball out to the left wing for Eric Ruffin. Now to the point. They set it up for Jeremy Fountain. Little lob inside trying to go to Alex Smith who's able to come up with a basket. 20 seconds gone in the overtime period and the South Coast Fire have a two point advantage. 74-72. Dana Thomas working the left wing. Back up top to Caleb Konezny. Coast untouched and lays it in. Great job by Konezny to see the opening on the right side of the lane and he converts the layup to not the game at 74. Eric Ruffin sets up the offense for the South Coast Fire and takes the direction from Coach Willie Pons. Hand it off to Jeremy Fountain. Fountain fires for three, doesn't get it to go. Jordan McLeod comes up with the carom for the fire. McLeod trying to go two on three break. Takes a nasty spill at the free throw line. Looks to be okay though. Back the other way come the South Coast Fire. Fountain chucks the rebound, the layup off the bottom of the backboard. Southeastern comes up with the loose ball. Three on three break. Larry Taylor's layup swatted away. Jordan McLeod up and under. Doesn't get it to go. Loose basketball picked up by Harold Griffin of the South Coast Fire with 3.40 to play in the overtime. Student section in front of us all on their feet. A lot of fans across the way on their feet as well. It's been that kind of game, 74-74, with 328 remaining in extra time. Driving is Ruffin. Out to the right corner, 18-footer, successful by Anthony Wynn. 76-74 in favor of the South Coast Fire. Southeastern with the basketball. Out to the far corner for Larry Taylor. Steps back with 309 remaining as they run the offense. Taylor looks left and hands off to Dana Thomas. Thomas with room to work, was among the nation's leaders in steals last year. He drives inside, running right, hander is good. 2.53 remaining in the overtime period. And again, we're tied at 76. Hope nobody needed to get home to study for finals. We could be here a little while. Timeout Willie Pons, timeout South Coast Fire. 2.42 2.42 remaining in overtime period number one. And we are just the way we started. Tied Two minutes, 42 seconds remaining in regulation. The South Coast Fire have the basketball in a 76-76 contest. Eric Ruffin works one-on-one against Andre Winston. Ball to the right side for Sherrod Harris. Now backing his man down is Anthony Wynn. Out to the left side, Harold Griffin lost the ball into the Spirit Squad, and it belongs to Southeastern. Two minutes, 31 seconds remaining in the overtime session, and Southeastern has the basketball. In a 76-76 game, the Fire 44% from the field. The South Coast Fire 50% from the field. Here's Winston out to Konezny on the right wing. He's matched up against Harold Griffin. A handoff to Larry Taylor. Flips it back over to the right side where Dana Thomas awaits. 15 to shoot, driving against Griffin. Cut off out to Andre Winston. Winston with 10. Drives to the rack. Double teams and swatted away. Got his own rebound. Shot clock did not reset. Down to five. Hands off to Thomas, who's fouled hard going up. The South Coast Fire say jump ball. The referees disagree. Willie Pons out to midcourt. He disagrees as well. And the foul is the sixth against the South Coast Fire. It's whistled against Alex Smith. It's his first. Referees have done a nice job keeping the whistles quiet today. Letting the guys play. It's been very entertaining. 
Dana Thomas toes the free throw line with a tick under two minutes remaining in the contest. Thomas' first free throw, hard off the heel. One more coming up for DT3. Comes to Southeastern from Maryville University. Prepped at Branson High School in Missouri, but now calls Houston, Texas home. Free throw is good. 159 to go. Southeastern 77. South Coast Fire 76. Fire setting back in a zone look. Ball comes to the near side for Sherrod Harris. Flips it back left wing for Eric Ruffin. Ruffin looking to the near side for Harold Griffin. Alley you play in a two-handed flush by Alex Smith. Gives the South Coast Fire the lead with 97 seconds remaining in overtime. 78-77. Kind of lull you to sleep with a perimeter passing game. And then all of a sudden an alley-oop. Andre Winston trying to get his team going. It was him that really sparked the comeback that the Fire had in the first half. He's giving out words of encouragement. Fired up. Thomas skids as he comes down the lane. Hands back off to McLeod with 12 to shoot. Jordan hands off to Larry Taylor who hands off to Dre Winston. Down to seven. Andre, step back jumper from 17, nothing but net. Oh, sweet looking shot from the Portland State transfer. Gives Southeastern a 79-78 lead with 57 seconds to play in regulation. Setting it up for the South Coast Fire is Eric Ruffin, number five. Ruffin looking for some motion. Kicks it over to Harold Griffin in the right corner. Griffin, a push off, and they're going to call Jordan McLeod for a foul. Jordan McLeod got stiff-armed and is called for a foul. The home fans are not going to like that as everybody indicating a forearm shiver that was issued by Harold Griffin. McLeod called for the foul as now McLeod tells the official, this is what he did to me. Apparently three of 818 people saw it as a push-off. He missed the free throw anyway as the ball doesn't lie. 43 seconds left. R.J. Barsh takes a timeout for Southeastern. 43 and two-tenths remaining in the overtime period. Southeastern, 79. The South Coast Fire, 78. And the Southeastern University Fire have the basketball. They're going to want to run as much clock as they can down as they can get this thing all the way down to 10 seconds remaining, barring a foul by the South Coast Fire. Looking back at the numbers into the during this overtime period, again, it's Andre Winston leading the way with 24 points. Jordan McLeod, 11 points, 13 rebounds. Alex Smith has been the catalyst for the South Coast Fire, 14 points, 11 rebounds. And also, Harold Griffin has chipped in 14 points and 4 rebounds and 4 assists off the bench. 43 and two tenths to go. On the floor for Willie Pond's group is Harold Griffin along with Eric Ruffin, Sherrod Harris, Anthony Wynn, and Alex Smith. Southeastern getting ready to break their huddle. They have the possession arrow as well. Correction, make that 16 points and, 10 re and 11 rebounds for Alex Smith. 26 points for Andre Winston. On the floor for the fire, Dana Thomas, Andre Winston, Larry Taylor, Caleb Knezny, Jordan McLeod. Southeastern in no hurry with a one-point advantage. Dre Winston set up between the circles with a 10-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. 26 to play. Winston with a head fake, working one-on-one -on -one against Eric Ruffin. Comes off the screen with 10 to shoot. Winston at the top of the key with 7. Looks to the near side. McLeod, head fake with 5. Ball tipped in the lane, taken away. Shot clock is off. 12 seconds to go. Driving is Anthony Wynn. His layup is off the mark. His putback is good with 7.9 seconds remaining. 80-79 South Coast fire. 5 seconds remaining. Winston running one-hander. Breaks in with 2 seconds to go. The South Coast fire have the clock stop with 2 seconds. All-court pass, knocked away by Winston with 1.7 to go. Andre Winston's 28th point of the game has given Southeastern an 81-80 lead and a timeout taken with 1.7 seconds to go 
the South Coast Fire will have the basketball underneath their own basket, and they trail by a point. Well, so much for that second overtime, unless we have a foul situation. 81-80 in OT. The Fire need to make one stop over the span of 1.7 seconds. The South Coast Fire right now huddled up as Coach Willie Pons is trying to dial something up that will take approximately one second to get off. They trail by a point. What a game this has been. The fire got off to a quick start of Southeastern, that is. South Coast Fire able to battle back and get things going again. I believe their biggest lead was seven. Southeastern battled right back. Kept this game tight during the entire second half. And got overtime going. And we will play out the final 1.7 seconds of the overtime session. Everybody on their feet. It's getting loud on silent night, and a timeout is taken by Willie Pons. Wanted to see the personnel that R.J. Barsh came out with. And now we'll revise his plan. Also trying to get his guys rested up a little bit. So again, a timeout taken by the South Coast Fire with 1.7 seconds to go. Andre Winston has had a special night. 28 points against an ABA team, including a running one-hander in the lane that banked home with two seconds to play to give his team an 81-80 advantage. He has been the catalyst the entire night, got his team going with his hard-nosed play that he had, was giving out some pats on the backs. That was including but not limited to the officiating crew. And that got his guys fired up and got everybody to realize that they could hang with this team. So now the fire come out, break the huddle once again. They go with a little bit different look. Joe Little along with Matt Crow, Andre Winston, Jordan McLeod, and Dana Thomas. We'll see if there's another timeout taken. Coming out for Willie Pond, South Coast Fire. They go with Sherrod Harris, Harold Griffin, Alex Smith, Anthony Wynn, and to trigger Eric Ruffin. See if they try and go right inside. Lobs it in. They find Harris. Doesn't get a clean look on it. The clock has expired. The referees are going to have to get together. Will they put more time on? R.J. Barsh looking to the officials. The officials are leaving the court. That's it. Southeastern has knocked off the South Coast Fire 81-80. to the teams exchange handshakes at center court as the Southeastern University Fire win tonight's exhibition game by the final score of 81-80 to in overtime. A great contest back and forth between the NAI Southeastern University Fire and the ABA's South Coast Fire. Again, don't forget to join us tomorrow night as the Southeastern University Fire women's basketball team will take on Clearwater Christian. For all of us at Southeastern University, I'm Donnie Smith, and we thank you for joining us.